whether you're going for minimalism or, you know, just general clutter free living and trying to keep down on the excess, having items that can serve multiple purposes is game changing. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Mia Danielle and I chat all about holistic and clutter-free spaces. So if that's something you're into, be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications. I release new videos every Tuesday. Now, of course, as with anything, there is no one size fits all. There are gonna be some things on my list that aren't gonna work for your list and your home situation. You might disagree with some of the things that I have on this list. I know one in particular is a little bit controversial. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in. Number one, I know you've heard me mention it a million times before, is rosehip seed oil. It's something that I've been using for years because of its versatility. You can use it on your hair, you can use it on your skin, on your nails, dry spots, like it just has so many purposes. It's got a little bit of an anti-inflammation property in it. Rose hips are full of vitamin C, so that cuts down on some of the extra beauty products. It's also got vitamin F in it, which helps to trap in moisture, so that helps me to cut down on all of the extra many products out there that help with moisturizing and all of those things together like the anti-inflammation properties the vitamin c that helps your skin cells to turn over faster and the vitamin f that really helps to trap moisture makes it really great for things like eczema and psoriasis and i have actually struggled with psoriasis for my entire life so it's kind of one of those just core uh, things that I keep on deck because there was a time when I had to buy all of the things for psoriasis, right? Like all the different creams I tried, the TARS, the tea gel and different shampoos and stuff. And now I have it down to a very small regimen. So anyway, I'm a huge fan of rosehip seed oil. <laughs> They're not sponsoring this video. I don't have a contract with any particular brand, but I think that it's a wonderful multifunctional tool in the beauty and products department. Number two is my instant pot. This is something that was gifted to me several years back. And honestly, like I was hesitant to get an instant pot for myself because they're large. I don't necessarily think that they're the most attractive piece of equipment, but now that I've used it and I've seen the functionality of it, there have been so many things, even things that were larger than the Instant Pot, like my slow cooker, that I was able to get rid of and replace with just using an Instant Pot. So I really do think that it's probably one of the most multifunctional, multi-purpose tools that I have in my kitchen right now. I'm able to saute things in it, right? So if I need to just saute some onions, vegetables, sear pot roast before I slow cook it. I can do that entire process in the Instant Pot. I don't have to dirty up another pan. It has the ability to slow cook. Of course, it has the ability to pressure cook. And this particular one also comes with an air fryer option. I think that I've maybe fried food like twice in the past year, maybe even two years, like we've really cut down on using the skillet and canola oil and all of that stuff for frying foods. Instant Pot definitely makes the list on multifunctional tools that have allowed me to cut down on a lot of extra stuff in my kitchen. Okay, here we go. Number three is by far the most versatile and just surprisingly useful tool that I have in my house and I have multiple of them. And this is the one that's a little bit controversial because I know that people have their opinions about things like this, uh, but it's gonna be the Echo Dots. We have one in just about every room of our house and it has really become integrated in our family systems. I have a whole video on like family systems that I use here at home that kind of keep everybody on the same page and they keep things running smoothly so that we don't have to stop and waste time doing other things like asking everybody what we need for groceries, for example, all of that stuff is managed on the dots. So here is the short version of all of the things that we use our Echo Dot for. An intercom system. We have a three level house and we're able to drop in on any given room at any given time. Even from our phones, if we're calling from the grocery store, I need clarification, I can drop in on somebody's room. Calendars, we put the entire calendar system on our Echo Dots. It's attached to multiple Google calendars for me. And so if we need to know the date of something or what's upcoming, it's very quick and easy for us to be 
able to check in on that. Plus we get the reminders directly to our room whenever we need them. We can use it as a calculator if we're trying to figure out some really quick measurements in the kitchen while we're cooking. We can use it to find out information like can Charlie eat this or is it going to be poisonous to her? We definitely use it to play music all the time. So it's kind of like our house radio and stereo system. We do not have any radios. We don't have any clocks. We don't have any calendars. So many different devices we've been able to just completely nix because we're able to do it on our dots. Vinegar is something that we get quite a bit of use out of. You can use it to remove smells from things. So if things start smelling a little bit stale and you just kind of need to neutralize that odor, vinegar has been a great tool for that. It's obviously a wonderful multi-purpose cleaning tool. So we constantly have a bottle of vinegar spray mix that we use to clean anything. You can use it on glass, stainless steel, you know, countertops, all the things pretty much that you can use. And you can mix other things in it like essential oils or lemon to add extra properties or extra smells. And also it's safe. So if I need to clean out something like my Keurig or, you know, coffee pot or something that I'm actually going to be drinking out of, I know that it's safe to use vinegar versus something that has bleach in it, for example. And of course, that's in addition to the cooking properties. You can cook with most vinegars. So I would say it's definitely a wonderful, versatile thing to have. I wouldn't want to not have vinegar in my space because it's so multi-purpose and multifunctional. Kind of along those same lines is coconut oil. This is something that I did not know the secrets and the many, many uses of until probably two or three years ago. And now I use it all the time. I use it to create products. You know, I've been using it to create body butters, bath bombs, things like little massager tools that are infused with essential oils. And then of course, cooking, it's so healthy to eat. For your skin, it's amazing. I mean, you can even just like take it straight out of the jar and rub it on your face if you're feeling a little bit dry and it helps to give you an immediate hydration mask effect. It can take the place of multiple different products that you might otherwise be looking to buy. I touched on essential oils a second ago with the coconut oil. So many of the things that I make are combining those two together, especially when we're talking about body products and bath bombs and, you know, just things that you would use products product wise like that, but essential oils themselves are so versatile. It's not just to make your room smell good. I mean, that's great. That's one of its purposes and I definitely use it for that, but it's also used for just so many different things depending on the essential oil that you have. You know, the eucalyptus helps to open up your nasal passageways and make breathing a little bit easier when you have a cold. The lavender is great for soothing and helping you to fall asleep. You can blend all of these things to use in cleaning products, to use in body products, to use like even in facial products, it's safe for your skin and all of that good stuff. I couldn't even go through all of the benefits and properties that come in different essential oils because they're also different. They're coming from different types of flowers and herbs and plants and all of that stuff. Another kitchen item that I've found to be really versatile and multifunctional is my caraway pots and pans, but particularly the Dutch oven that I can use on the stove. I can put it into the oven and cook things with. I just, it has a lot of different functionality. I know there are tons of different brands. I'm not saying it has to be caraway, but I will say that that's what I use. It's replaced all of my other pots and pans, but also different types of special tea bakeware and still like I only have five I think it's five maybe four no I think I have five uh caraway pots and pans and that's it so it's really allowed me to consolidate my space when it comes to cookware and bakeware and last but not least I know it's cliche is my smartphone and I'm sure it's on probably 98 percent of people's list I mean come on they have so many purposes and so much functionality. And even if you're on the anti-smartphone bandwagon because you're trying to simplify and get away from technology, which I totally understand, and I know that it can get really out of hand, the way that I use mine is definitely as a tool, a multi-purpose, multifunctional tool. My phone is my note taker, my voice recorder, which I use for some of these episodes. I use it to communicate with absolutely anybody and everybody, whether it's my team in Slack, emails, obviously text messages, iMessages, phone calls, like any kind of communication that I have with the outside world goes through my cell phone. I'm even able to drop in on the dots using the intercom system on the Alexa app that I have on my phone. Depending on how you need to use it and what type of functionality you need, you can probably find it on your phone from editing photos to video recording and saving moments to business metrics and analytics to pulling up a quick YouTube video and learning how to unclog or fix your toilet everything that you could possibly need 
can exist on your smartphone. So those are my most multi-purpose tools that I use here on a regular basis and would have a really hard time living without. I would definitely have to purchase or bring in a lot more items to replace any one of these things that are on my list today, which is kind of the point, right? Like the point of having things that are multi-purpose and versatile is so that you can limit the number of items that you have and really just simplify processes by having fewer things that you're having to interact with regularly. So I would love to know if you have any of your own that you would like to add to the list or, you know, ideas, I guess, for the rest of us. Maybe there are some really awesome versatile tools that I'm totally missing out on that I need to be taking a look at. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll chat with you guys next week.